In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the NVIDIA control panel not showing in your system tray in Windows 10. So at the moment within my system tray, you cannot see the NVIDIA control panel, even if I expand it by pressing the up arrow. So there can be a few different reasons to why the NVIDIA control panel is missing from your system tray. And the first thing we're going to do is just ensure that all the correct services are running which the NVIDIA control panel needs to be able to work. So you need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in services and you then need to click onto services. Once the services window has opened, you now need to select a random service and then press N on your keyboard. You now need to find the NVIDIA services. So the first option is NVIDIA display container LS. You need to right click on this option and go to properties. You now need to ensure that the startup type is set to automatic and you then need to press start and this will begin the service. Once you've done that, press OK. If yours was already running, press stop and then press start again. So we can now press OK and the next option you need to ensure is the NVIDIA frame view SDK service is set to manual trigger. So right click on the service and go to properties and then ensure startup type is on manual. Once you've changed that, you now need to right click on NVIDIA local system container and go to properties. And you then need to change the startup type to automatic. And you now need to press start for this service as well. If yours is already running, press stop and then start. Once you've done that, if you now go down to your system tray, and if you press the up arrow, you will now see the NVIDIA icon. You can now right click on this icon and go NVIDIA control panel. And as you can see, I now have the NVIDIA control panel on my screen. If that didn't fix the NVIDIA control panel missing on your computer, then the next thing you can try is opening up the start menu and then typing in device. You now need to select device manager and you then need to click on display adapters and right click on your NVIDIA graphics card. You now need to press update driver and press search automatically for drivers. This will ensure that you have the best driver installed that Windows 10 can detect. If it says yours is up to date, then you now need to press close and you then need to click on the NVIDIA website in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select your graphics card from the list. So if you go back to your device manager, you will see your graphics card. So I need to select an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to change this option here to GeForce. And then I need to change the product series to 16 series because I've got 1660 Super. As you can see, it's already detected my 1660 Super there. I've got Windows 10 64 bit and I want to install the game ready driver. Once you're happy with your selection, press search. And you then need to click on download. You now need to press download again and then save file. Once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to press OK. You can now choose if you'd like to just install the NVIDIA graphics driver or if you'd like to install GeForce Experience alongside of the driver. I'm going to keep this option here selected as I do like GeForce Experience. Once you're happy, go ahead and press agree and continue. If you do agree to the terms, you can now choose if you want to do a custom or express. I would recommend you choose express so you do keep your existing NVIDIA settings. Once you're happy, press next and it will now begin to install the latest NVIDIA driver to your computer. Once the driver has finished installing, you will then end up with a window that looks like this. You can now choose if you want to create a shortcut for the GeForce experience if you did install it and if you want to launch it. I'm going to deselect these two options and then press close. If you now go down to your Windows system tray in the bottom right hand corner and click on show hidden icons, you will then see the NVIDIA icon and you can then right click on the icon and go to NVIDIA control panel and it will then open up the NVIDIA control panel. So that is how you resolve this issue. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, 
click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.